Hey guys, this is Ellie with Tip B. Today we're going to look at how to SSH into your phone and how to change some basic items in a theme. Uh, first, you're going to need to download an SSH client. As you can see in my dock, I have two here, uh, Fugu and Cyberduck. I believe these are Mac only. Uh, I linked in the article to some PC ones as well as iPhone Explorer. Um, I'm going to click into Cyberduck. All right, now what we're gonna do here is first you're gonna have to have your iPhone's Wi-Fi password, or not password, but IP. Um, you get that by going into settings, Wi-Fi, and then clicking the little blue arrow and you're gonna see your iPhone's IP address. That's what you're gonna need to get into here. So in mine, I click open connection. It might be different for yours. Um, I'm gonna have to drop down to SSH. And then I've already looked mine up, so I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to type in my iPhone's IP. Alright, it should be set to port 22. If it's not, change it to port 22. Uh, your username typically defaults to whatever the name of your computer is, so you need to change that to root. And then you're going to go to password, and you're going to type in whatever password you have for your iPhone. By default, it's always Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Um, if you don't know how to change that, you need to, because um, if you leave SSH on, someone can hack into your phone that way. So make sure you change that. So I'm going to type my password in here, and then click Connect. Um, allow that if a prompt comes up. All right, for some reason, mine always routes me to like the private root folder. Um, you can back up into just where you have a forward slash. You're gonna to wanna to go to library, themes. You're gonna see all the themes that you downloaded from Winterboard. Um, this is where you're gonna to wanna to create themes. It's where you're gonna to wanna to edit them. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I went ahead and downloaded a bundle of chat balloons that are just a different color than the stock ones. So if you wanna change those, you can drop them in there. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you real quick how to create just a really quick SMS theme. Um, the way I learned how to do this was just to look at what other people had done previously. So um, if you go in here, you'll see. Let's take this orange one. Inside every theme folder, there's gonna be a bundles folder. Um, as you get more in depth, you're gonna see a lot more folders in here, and maybe we'll look at doing a complete theme in another tutorial. But for now, we're just gonna. Kind of go over the basics of maybe changing chat bubbles. This is the same thing for if you wanted to change a wallpaper. You'd just drop it right in the main folder and label it wallpaper.ping with a capital W. So, all right, you're going to see this is what contains anything for the chat applet. So what I'm going to do is say I wanted to create one. We'll go back to this. I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll call it chat bubbles dot theme. Always put the dot theme on there. Um, I don't think Winterboard necessarily requires it, but sometimes if it doesn't have that, um, Winterboard won't read it correctly. So I just put it. And it shows up right here. I'm going to click in here, make another new folder. Call it bundles. Anything that's capitalized, you need to make sure it is, otherwise the phone's not going to read it right. And one more time, I'll click in that folder and make a new folder and label it com.apple.chatkit. You don't need to know why they're called this. Um, as you start customizing themes, you'll learn the names of all these. Like uh, Some stuff goes in com.apple.springboard. There's a ton of them, I'll show you that in a minute. So, all right, inside here, we're gonna put some files, just ping files. Um, and here are the ones that I downloaded. So say we want maybe a dark blue one. And I don't know, a red one. Drag them both in there. I don't know why mine keeps asking me to accept it every time. It normally doesn't do that. So we're going to close out of this. And for these, 
Um, the sent and received are labeled as balloon one and balloon two. That's just how Apple has them named. So we need to rename them. Leave the dot pane. So we will rename this one balloon underscore one with a capital B. And we'll name the other one balloon underscore two. And it probably would help if I could spell correctly. All right. And just make sure I'm doing that right. I'm not, I haven't done one of these in a while. So let's make sure that's actually what they're called. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, balloon two is your received, I believe, because this is received. Yeah, balloon two is your received ones, and then balloon one is the ones you send. So say you just wanted to keep the green one as the one you send and replace the gray one, you just want balloon two in there, or you can change them both. So after I've done this, that's pretty much it, and then you go and respring your phone, and then it should kick in, and then you go to Wonderboard, activate it, drag it to the top, and that's it. Um, Let's look at something a little bit more complicated here. I don't know if I really have much in here because I cleaned it out. All right, here's one. All right, maybe not. Well, we'll do this. New folder. Uh, we'll create this alley.theme. Say I wanted to, I don't know, put a different wallpaper in here. Um, I'd basically find a picture that I wanted to use. I don't know, let's just use this as an example. I obviously would not use a chat bubble that I don't have anything pulled up here. So drag it in here. Whatever wallpaper you want to use. And remember, uh, they should be 320 by 480, ideally. Um, when you're making a uh, wallpaper for the SMS background, you probably want to use like 480 by 480. So then when you turn it, it's not, you don't have gray on the right side. So for a wallpaper, I have that. And then you'd have a bundles folder in here. And a bunch of stuff's going to go in there. Um, on this main screen, you also have an icons folder. And this is where you're going to drop any icons you have. So say I made a new icon or I was making icons and I wanted one for, um, I don't know, Tweety2. Um, you're going to need to look at the names exactly as they appear on the springboard in the iPhone. So if you have um, icon labels turned off, you need to turn them back on. And make sure you type it just like it should be. Um, so say I wanted one for Tweety 2. Tweety actually goes by um, Tweety. So you'd have it with a capital T like it is in the springboard dot ping. And then that will replace the Tweety icon when you respring as long as you have that theme activated. Um, that's pretty much it. Theming is really not that, uh, it's not that hard. You just kind of have to learn what the file systems are. And again, if you're not comfortable messing with these, don't. Um, as far as anything else, you can pull icons by SSHing. Um, they're going to be in like your applications and they'll be in individual folders here. Um, all of them don't show up because some of them go in funky places. If anyone wants to know how to pull any other icons out, leave it in the comments and maybe we'll cover that. Or if anyone wants to see how to put together a complete theme, leave that in the comments and we'll do that another day. But uh, questions, comments, issues, uh, you know, leave them in the comments.